Hello WSO primary parents. I hope you and your families are keeping well. I would like to share a few key messages with you today regarding arrangements for the next academic year. As you are well aware, the UAE and countless other countries across the world are facing very unique circumstances at present and the exact model of what schooling for your children will look like next year is still uncertain and we will await further guidance from the Dubai authorities. However, WSO have taken the initiative to plan for multiple scenarios in order to ensure that we are fully prepared to support our students on their return, whether that be remotely, physically in the academy or a combination of both. Due to the current climate, it is highly likely that students will be mixed into new classes for the new academic year. However, all students will remain in their current houses, Ruby, Diamond, Emerald or Onyx. To make this process as smooth as possible and to support your children's well-being, all students will take part in a transition lesson during next week, week beginning the 14th of June. During this lesson, all children will get to choose three students that they would like to share a class with next year. Of course, we cannot guarantee that every student will be in the same class as all three of their choices, as there are a number of other factors that we must consider. But our teachers will ensure that they are with at least one child from their list. We hope that giving children a level of ownership over this will reduce any concerns they may have about this process. As we work through our transition process and the mixing of classes, it is important that we are aware of exactly which students are remaining within our WSO family. And I would like to encourage parents to re-enroll your child if you are yet to do so. This will allow us to assign your children to a class and a teacher whilst taking into consideration their friendship preferences. Please also keep in mind that to support our staff's continued professional development, we are unable to guarantee that teachers will remain in the same year groups for the next academic year. New classes will provide opportunities for our students to develop a number of key skills and form new friendships in the academy. We do understand that the mixing of classes can feel daunting and we hope that your children having an input into who they share their class with next year will reassure them as well as yourselves. Thank you. We would like to thank students for their participation in the Arabic projects that took place in the past two weeks. Thank you parents for your support and help in completing these projects where students showcase their progress they have made towards achieving their Arabic language objectives. أود أن أشكر طلاب لمشاركتهم في مشاريع اللغة العربية والتي استمرت على مدار أسبوعين والشكر موصول لأولياء الأمور لتقديمهم الدعم اللازم للطلاب في عرض التقدم في رحلتهم التعلمية نحو تحقيق أهدافهم الموضوعة لهم في اللغة العربية During these remote times, here at WSO, we are still trying to maintain our strong sense of celebration, community and connection We've already held many events, but there's an awful lot more still to look forward to. And I wanted to run through those with you now so that you don't miss any exciting opportunities ahead. Well, next week, we've got the WSO Primary Sports Awards to look forward to, and that's going to be shared with you on YouTube. And the broadcast will be scheduled for release at 5 p.m. on Monday, the 15th of June. And there's lots to enjoy. There's guest speakers, there's dance performance, but of course, there's a chance to celebrate the collective and individual achievements of our sporting squads. And if you're interested in participating and watching that, then you can find a link in the description below. We've carried out several parent engagement sessions since the distance learning period began. And there's another one coming up. So if you're the parent of a year three to year six student who enjoys playing computer games online, you can join Miss Smith, head of Ruby House, for her supporting our online media users and gamers session. The session will take place on Zoom on Sunday the 14th of June at 4 p.m. And if you want to attend, you can express your interest by filling out the form and there's a link for that in the description below. If you can't make that time and date, well, you can request a recording of the session and that will be made available to you. There'll be lots of information and guidance and it will be a really interesting and worthwhile session. Well, it's my favorite time of the year what am I talking about? It's everybody's favourite time of the year. It's June the 17th. It's UK National Eat Your Vegetables Day. Yum, yum. Well, it is a serious and very important chance for us to reflect and focus on an important aspect of our health and well-being at this time.
And so we're encouraging every student and every member of the WSO community to try a new vegetable. And they can share their taste and their experience on Seesaw with their teachers and with their peers and friends. I'm looking forward to see all those adventurous tastings. And on the following week, the week beginning the 21st of June, we have our Falcons Virtual Olympics. Wow, this is such an exciting event that lasts all week. And the whole school will have the chance to take part in as many physical challenges as they can during their PE lessons and in their free time if they wish. And they can access the challenges through their week's PE lesson, but also on the special Falcons Virtual Olympics website and every challenge they complete, they can earn one point and they can keep track of their scores on the live scoreboard. Oh, very exciting, I'm looking forward to that. Lots of opportunities to get energetic and get a bit competitive too. Well, it's become such a fun and important part of the academic year. We couldn't possibly not run our WC's Got Talent and in fact, even though we're in distance learning, it's coming back and it's bigger than ever. It's now open up to families. Well, all the entries are now in and I've been fortunate enough to see some of the primary entries and they are fantastic and so diverse. We've got singing, we've got dancing, we've got magic, we've got all sorts, but I'm not gonna give away any of the secrets. The big question is which family acts will be brought forward for the final performance? Which house will clinch victory? It doesn't matter. Whatever the outcome, I promise you, there is so much fun in store. Make sure you look out for WSO Our Family's Got Talent in the weeks ahead. I know that one of the highlights for all of the students in our academy are the head of our celebration assembly that happen at the end of every term. And we have our head of house end of year celebration assembly happening in the last week of term. It'll be full of celebration, fun and farewells. It's the perfect opportunity to create a real sense of connection and belonging within each house, just before all the students head off on their summer holidays. One thing that's really important to us here at WSO is recognising and celebrating achievements. And therefore, we're holding our primary awards evening on YouTube at 5pm on the 29th of June. There'll be specialist awards, competence awards, core subject awards, attitude, interest and effort awards and core value awards. Through this very special evening, we aim to celebrate every type of success, every form of achievement. And whether you are a recipient of an award or someone in your family is the recipient of an award or not, it's still a really important time in the school year where we can all come together and celebrate many of the children who have achieved their full potential this year. Oh, it can be tricky to get active during this distance learning period. So we'd like to encourage you to take part in our Falcons Around the World in 80 Days Challenge. Now the distance around the world is 40,075 kilometers. And the PE department have set us, the WSO community, the challenge of running, jogging and walking around the world in 80 days. Oh my goodness, that's not long, is it? Well, not around the world, but the distance, 40,075 kilometers. So next time you go out for a run or a jog or a brisk walk, make sure you log that activity. And you can do that by using the link in the description to this video. And we can all contribute to this magnificent effort of getting all the way around the world in 80 days before summer. So far, those members of the WSO community who have taken part have done a tremendous job and they've already run over 4,451 kilometers. That's just over a tenth of the way. So we need much more participation to make it all the way around the world. So please, please join in. Well, maybe you're not so much of a runner. Maybe you're a reader. Maybe you're a runner and a reader. Well, we're running a very similar competition within the literacy department too. We've got reading around the world and for every word you read on Accelerated Reader, wow, that's a kilometer around our world. Let's see if we can get all the way around the world and which house will win. That's for years four all the way up to year nine. 
And of course, there's our distance learning enrichment too. And so far, we've been able to offer a staggering 40 different video enrichment workshops for students to take part in, in everything from portrait drawing, vision boarding, bubble fun, origami, sign language, magic, card games, scavenger hunts, juggling, drama, and mysterious science, and far, far more. Every week on a Thursday morning, we'll post an updated distance learning enrichment calendar to your child's seesaw journal. And you can scroll down that distance learning calendar to choose from one of the 40 enrichments on offer. Once your child has completed the enrichment, they have the option of uploading the outcome onto a Padlet page gallery where they can share their work and their outcome with the rest of the school community for more recognition and more celebration. But that's not it. If you scroll right the way down to the bottom of the enrichment calendar, you will find lots more enriching ideas perhaps a virtual safari or a virtual tour of a museum or some live theatre or maybe you want to enter a new writers and illustrators competition. All those ideas are at the bottom of our distance learning enrichment calendar. And finally, we really recommend you checking out our WSO ParentNet group on Facebook. It's an excellent way to connect with more of the WSO community. Since the remote learning period began, the group has been really busy and a personal highlight for me was the very successful quiz that they held. But another thing that I really look forward to every week is the hashtag Thursday, where a member of the WSO community shares their experience of life in lockdown. I've gleaned lots from these very open and honest accounts from members of our own WSO community. Wow, there we are. So despite distance learning, there are still so many opportunities for us to celebrate and so many opportunities for us to connect as a community here at WSO.